Perhaps the most interesting thing about Kreef Core is that way before this area was settled as a city, it's thought to have been the first location where a public building was erected by Europeans within the modern boundaries of Illinois. Kreef Core is a small suburb of Peoria, Illinois. Kreef Core has slowly been shrinking in population since its peak of 6,800 in 1980. Today it's home to 5,200 residents. Well, let's get to it, shall we? I start the video off in Peoria while crossing the Cedar Street Bridge, and just like that, we're in East Peoria. I'll be featuring East Peoria next week, so stay tuned for that video. If you're unfamiliar with my videos, I do speed up my videos in order to show more in a less amount of time. You can always keep up with the real time that it takes me to drive in the lower left corner of the screen. If I go too fast for you, or you think I'm going too slow, you can always adjust the playback speed through the gear icon on the desktop or through the three-dotted menu on a mobile device. Isn't YouTube great? Also really quick, if you enjoy this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the playlists featuring other videos that I've made on my channel. Videos of other similar or nearby cities and towns are included in my Illinois playlist and my Peoria, Illinois playlist. Now that we are officially in Kreef Core, I'll start talking about it more. I've already mentioned that Kreef Core is home to 5,200 people, which is down from a 1980 peak population of 6,800. Located on the other side of the Illinois River from the principal city of Peoria, this suburb isn't too far from where all the action is. It's probably only a 10 minute drive into downtown Peoria on most days. The median household income is $46,000 per year, and 16% of the residents are living in poverty. Only 6% of adults 25 and older have a bachelor's degree or higher which is an extremely low number. The median value of owner-occupied housing units is $81,000, compared to the national median value, which is $205,000. Niche.com gives Kreef Core a C-plus on their public schools, which ranks Kreef Core schools right around the national average. Both the violent and property crime in Kreef Core are slightly above average, but it's likely that if you live here, you won't ever have anything happen to you. Perhaps the most interesting thing about Kreef Core is that way before this area was settled as a city, it's thought to have been the first location where a public building was erected by Europeans within the modern boundaries of Illinois. Currently we're up on a bluff that overlooks the Illinois River, but down by the river in the year 1680, the French built a fort here called Fort Kreef Core. The building was completed in January of 1680, but it was destroyed in April of 1680 by the same French people who built the fort, as they were afraid of being attacked by the Iroquois 
as war started to occur nearby. The same French colony established a newer fort nearby after destroying Fort Creve Coeur. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. Fort Creve Coeur State Park is located behind a neighborhood directly across Main Street from this location. The state park takes up the land between that neighborhood and the Illinois River on the other side. Honestly, Creve Coeur doesn't seem too bad. It seems like a decent place, but that's all it is, is a decent place, if that makes sense. There's not much to it. If you are looking to raise a family, you might want to look elsewhere in the Peoria area that has higher ranked schools. If you're looking for a cheap place to live near Peoria and that's all you want, then you might as well look here in Creve Coeur.
I am back in the city limits of East Peoria as the bluffs surrounding the Illinois River cause for a network of windy roads rather than your typical grid street layout, but there happens to be a great view of the majestic skyline of downtown Peoria going this way. Would be even better in the winter without the leaves on the trees. And to finish out the video, we'll just continue heading along US 24 through the entirety of its length through the Crevecore city limits. Well, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. Also make sure to check out my channel playlists if you enjoyed this video. You might enjoy checking out my Illinois playlist or my Peoria, Illinois playlist. We'll see you next time. Peace!